Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the best possible settings for Valorant for streaming and recording in 2020. Hope you guys are excited for this video. If you guys are, please be sure to go down below, click that like button and or that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it, guys. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Oh, also, before we start, tell me down below in the comment section your favorite character in Valorant. All right, let's get into it. What we're going to start with is the OBS settings tab. And I'm going to give some very general things for low to all the way up to high end PCs. If you're running a low end PC, let's say you're running a really old PC with a really outdated hardware. What you're going to want to do. Okay. Let's say you're streaming or even recording. You want to go to video and change. Click this drop down menu. You want to go to 1280 by 720. And that's if you're a streamer or a, a YouTuber, like recording videos. Okay. But the catch is keep this on 60 fps okay valent is a very easy game to run no one's gonna want want to watch a 30 fps stream and or video okay if you're running on a mid to higher end pc what you guys can do is go to uh 1920 by 1080 like i do which is completely fine all right next you want to go to output let's go to recording first make sure your recording formats in mp4 now for those of you that got the for those of you guys that have the newer nvidia cards we have access to nvenc so I have an RTX 2080, so I have access to the NVENC new hardware for, for encoding, for streaming and recording videos, and it is amazing. See if you guys have this option if you have an NVIDIA card. If you guys are on AMD or don't have access to an NVENC uh, hardware program like this, what you guys want to do is use X264, or even if your processor is extremely strong, use X264, don't use your graphics card. All right, next, constant bitrate. I uh, keep my constant bitrate at 15,000 for low to uh, mid end PCs. I recommend 5,000 to 10,000 for mid to high end PCs. I recommend 10 to 15,000. Okay. Max keyframe. I'm sorry. Keyframe interval. I keep at zero and th these are general. So if you, these, everything from the bottom here is general for low to high end keyframe interval, zero preset, max quality profile, high psycho visual tuning, check GPU zero max B frames two. All right. Now for my streamers out there. All right. What you want to do? Like I said before, if you have access to the newer NVIDIA cards, use this hardware. If you don't, use X264, etc. Okay. Make sure you guys tick off the enforced streaming service encoder settings. Now, here is one of the most crucial parts of this entire video. So listen up. Now, what you want to do is go to speed, go on Google and type in speed test by Ookla. O-O-K-L-A. Go on that website and run a test. Close Discord, close, close Streamlabs, close YouTube, close Spotify, everything. And just run a baseline test. See what your upload speed is. Take that upload number. Let's say you get that upload number is 75. Go to a uh, bitrate calculator and plug in your upload speed. It'll then give you a bitrate number. Twitch's maximum is 6,000 unless you're partnered. But for me... Uh, I the max I can stream at is 6,000. I have like 150 upload. All right, so use that calculator to find out the best bitrate for you. I keep it on constant bitrate, also known as CBR. Now, like I said, these are general for everybody from here down. Keyframe zero, profile high, look ahead unchecked, psycho visual tuning checked, GPU zero, max B frames two. Now, with that being said, we can go to advanced post uh, process priority. I keep on normal. Video, uh, color format NV12, YUV color space 601, YUV color range partial, and force GPU as render device, okay? You, if you guys have a strong NVIDIA process, uh, sorry, video card, make sure you check this off. If you have a weaker card, don't check this off, okay? Use X264. I, I don't touch any of this stuff. Doesn't really matter for us. Now, the juicy stuff. All right, the fun stuff. Valorant. All right, the game we know and love. Click this little bar in the top left, go to settings. All right, go to video and general. Now, you want to be running 1920 by 1080 regardless. All right, make sure you're on full screen. There's no reason to be clicking off, even if you're streaming. But, you know, have a laptop or a phone or something there. Um, you're going to get max quality, max performance on full screen. All right, uh, aspect ratio method, I keep on letterbox. Limit FPS on battery. I keep that off. If you're on a lower end PC, you can keep that on. Now, I keep these, all of these that are at 240, I keep it similar to my refresh rate on my monitor. Okay. So if you're running a lower end monitor, lower end PC, you want to keep it to 60, you know, or even if you're at a mid range, 144, etc. Okay. 
Max FPS on battery, I keep on 240. Limit FPS in menus, I have that off. There's not really an issue there. Unless you're like getting massive frame drops in your menu for some reason, then you can enable this and set it to 60, 144, 240, 120, 130, you know, whatever you want. All right. <coughs> Limit FPS in background, I keep that on and I keep it on 30. Um, it doesn't matter if you have it on on or off. I'm actually going to keep it on off. Um, because my uh, my limit and my max here are, are gonna affect it. Okay, so limit FPS always I keep that on off and max FPS always I keep on 240 like I said if you're running an older model older PC older equipment older monitor I would put it to 60 120 144 for my mid-range guys something like that. Okay All right, so we're gonna I don't know we're gonna go to graphics quality. All right a lot of this So, okay, so here's what I'm gonna say the stream lab settings are your building blocks that is your foundation that is your core okay going from that to this okay is your most you know important thing pretty much because you're going to want to tinker you're going to plug and play you're going to find out there's not one general thing i can give you for everybody all right my lower end guys what i suggest starting from the bottom okay drake said it best start from the bottom turn everything to off then Hop into practice, okay? We have a practice setting. So we go here. You go practice. You go to enter any of these, okay? And you're going to want to tinker, okay? You'll tinker. You're, you you want to find out what works, okay? Now, if you have a mid-range, maybe you can go to medium or have some stuff on low, some stuff on high, etc. My high-end PC, guys, you don't got to worry about maxing anything out. Don't even worry. And I don't care how low-end of a PC you have. Keep VSync off, all right? V-Sync is garbage. Don't mess with it. It's it's doo-doo. All right? Use this graphics quality section to tinker. Plug in and play. Like, figure out what works. You know, you know what's what do I value? Graphics over performance, performance over quality, you know, etc. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and I will help you guys and answer them the best I can. And I will answer as fast as I can. I've been your boy, Versary. Do not forget to go down below, leave a like, and subscribe for future Valorant content. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.